Hello here, Brewing Company here. Welcome to my beer library where I do beer reviews and uh, um, a beer vlog. I make beer. Uh, so I try to try different types of beer, then I try to make that specific type. So um, today we're gonna be trying a gluten-free beer uh, because a lot of gluten intolerant people out there, people contacting me and saying, hey, can you make me a gluten-free beer because I'm gluten intolerant. More power to you. Great. Uh, it's hard to find a good gluten free beer that isn't like 3% alcohol by volume. So that's why they come to me and ask me if I can make one. So I'm trying a bunch. Uh, I, I've had this before. This is the best gluten free beer that's out there that I know of. There's also like a Breckenridge or something like that. But like I said, that's like 3.5% or something low low ABV so this is New Belgium's gluttony crafted to remove gluten pale ale which I'm not quite sure what the process is of, of this yet uh, but uh, it fascinates me 6% alcohol volume it says product fermented from grains containing gluten and crafted to remove the gluten the gluten contents of this product cannot be verified and this product may contain gluten uh, brewed and bottled by New, New Belgium Brewing Company, Incorporated, Fort Collins, Colorado, and Asheville, North Carolina. So, it's a mutiny on gluten that's demanding we brew up something hop lovers can rally behind without flavors being held prisoner. Join the gluttony. So this is 6%. Um, has a lot of good flavors in it. See what it looks like here. Nice. Oh, too much. So you can see it has a like a light copper red color to it. Let that settle just a touch. Um, it has the odor of a IPA. So really, really hoppy. Taste is spot on. So it's not too IPA-ish to where it tastes like you just stuck a grapefruit in your mouth and you're chewing on it. Some people like that. Not me, bro. Um, but it doesn't taste too subtle to where it tastes like you're drinking like a... Uh, a cold auger from like a, a, a big box beer company or something. It tastes like a good beer. It's a good all around um, beer. Perfect on the hot days. You know, you get outside, get the sweating, and you're like, I need a gluten free beer, man. There you go. So. Like I said, I haven't really looked too much into the process of how they're removing the gluten. Um, probably by means that I don't have access to. I was just thinking about just doing, making beer without grains to make it gluten free. But uh, you know, I wanted to try it anyway because I've had it in the past, like I said. So, Hunter being the best gluten free beer I've ever had and zero being the worst I like you I like you I'm giving you a 75 that's really high if you know my standards okay so we got a 75 here on the gluttony I love the bottle design um, it's pretty snazzy I like the color scheme and all that and um, really cool tasteful not too overpowering with the hoppiness you know sometimes it feels like you're just chewing uh, tree bark or not tree bark but like pine cones pine needles and stuff like that it's not over the top but it's also not water so try something you never had before like this gluten-free beer cheers